Beautiful. I have so much bottled water left over from, uh, from giving out meals to the homeless the other day. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I've got like two cases left. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to individually dump them into my 30-gallon uh, water tank that I have in the back of the van. That would take forever, though. So the place that I'm going camping today is uh, about 45 minutes away. You can see that right there. It's on Catchus Lake in Washington. And according to the app, there's hundreds of spots right next to the lake right there. But it is a Saturday, and I know uh, the people of Washington are very outdoorsy, so I'm hoping it's not too crowded. But I guess we'll see when we get there. This time the uh, dirt road isn't too bad. Pretty well maintained. All right, so maybe there uh, maybe there won't be a spot here today. Looks like uh, there is a lot of people who came out to the lake today. Wow. Hopefully we can find a spot. All right, so I passed the spot where all the people were parked and where all of the campsites are, and I'm just kind of driving down this endless dirt road just to see where it ends, to see if I can find any kind of spot on the side of the lake. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find anywhere other than maybe like a little pullout alongside of this road, but I'm gonna drive to the end of it and just see if there's anywhere that I can park that's kind of on the lake. But I've been driving for like 20 minutes down this dirt road and I haven't really seen anywhere. So I might just have to turn around and, uh, and cook this breakfast on the side of the road. All right, so I turned around at the end of the road. There was nothing down there. I think I'm just going to pull out right here on this little uh, side pull out on the side of the road and just cook breakfast here because there is nowhere else to go. So this is the spot. Not really much, but it'll do. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I kind of have a lake view. You can almost see it through some of these trees right here, but it's uh, definitely not what I was looking for, but it's good enough. And I have service, so that's a bonus. There's already so many bugs in the van, so I don't know if this is going to be able, I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, keep the doors open while I cook, but we're going to try. All right, so as you can probably tell by the angle of this camera, my van is on a slant tilting this way. Um, and it's actually kind of severe. So before I cook anything, I'm gonna go level out the van with uh, some of these leveling blocks I have, and then we'll get to cooking. There we go. Let's see if that's enough to level it out. There we go. That looks good to me, honestly. Should be a little easier to cook now without the, uh, the oil won't be running to uh, the front side of the pan. It does make it quite a step to get in here though. Ooh. But anyways, let's get to cooking. I'm kind of upset that they didn't sell these Yukon gold potatoes by like individual. You had to buy a whole bag. So now I have way too many gold potatoes, but I guess I can use them for something else in the future maybe. I don't know. Sausage patties. Look how thick this bacon is. Some nice bacon. This is a lot to manage at once too. Got sausage, bacon, eggs, pancakes, and potatoes all cooking at the same time. This all looks so good. I am so excited to eat this. All right, so I think these potatoes are done, so I'm gonna get those drained. That was looking. Potatoes are by far my favorite part of, uh, of any breakfast. And it's kind of like a, uh, 
and art form getting them cooked right. Oh, okay. Get that all stirred up. And then in the pan they go. And the So I don't think it would be a complete all-American breakfast without a little orange juice. Perfectly runny yolk, look at that egg. I don't think, in my opinion, breakfast gets much better than that. I really wish that I was able to find a spot down there on the river, or uh, on the lake, because like from the pictures that I saw online, it looked like it was a really cool spot. It's just, I always make the mistake of coming to places like this on a Saturday, and um, they're always packed. There's bacon is fire too. I haven't had thick cut bacon in months. I've been eating turkey bacon because I'm trying to eat healthier to lose some weight. So I figured I would treat myself today. Well, that was absolutely delicious. I think this is the spot I'm gonna camp tonight too. So it's not the best spot. It sucks that it's on the main road. Every once in a while, there's a car that'll drive right by, but it's a dirt road and there's not too many people out here. I'm not too worried about it. I should still get a good night's sleep tonight without uh, having too much noise. I mean, last night there was a lot of noise, but even if there was a lot of noise, I can sleep through pretty much anything. I sleep at truck stops all the time, right next to a bunch of trucks with their generators on and right next to main highways where there's trucks driving by 20 yards behind me. So if you want a heavy sleeper, that might be something you want to think about if you're uh, planning to live in a van. Because unless you go out and find kind of secluded spots like this where there's not too many people around, it's going to be noisy a lot of the time when you're sleeping. But anyways, that food just about put me into a coma. So I think I'm going to take a nap, honestly. And I will catch you guys next time.